My name is May Liap. I'm auditioning for the three-year course at Oxford School of Drama. My first audition piece will be my Shakespeare piece from the play Troilus and Cressida by William Shakespeare, where I'll be playing Cressida. My second piece, my contemporary piece, is from the play After the End by Dennis Kelly, where I'll be playing Louise. Oh, you immortal gods! I will not go. I will not, uncle. I have forgot my father. I know no touch of consanguinity. No love, no blood, no soul so near me as sweet Troilus. Oh, you gods divine! Make Cressid's name the very crown of falsehood if ever she leave Troilus. Time, force, and death, do to this body what extremes you can, but the strong base in building of my love is as the very centre of this earth. Drawing all things to it. And I will go and weep and tear my bright hair and scratch my praised cheeks and crack my clear voice with sobs and break my heart with soundings of Troilus. I will not go from Troy. And I'd be sat in my garden and this cat, this gorgeous cat with no tail would come to my door and well I'd have the back door open because the garden looks and well, she'd be really terrified at first but the garden looks beautiful it really does and the first night I gave her some food and she sniffed it and I was looking at her tail thinking that's been cut off I don't think it was. I think she's a Manx. I think they're born without tails. Anyway, the next night she's in a bit closer and I'm beginning to look forward to this and the next night she's in. And she's eating and meowing and she's following me around. She's on my lap. She's waiting on the window ledge for me when I get home and she's eating and meowing every night. And one night, she scratches me. Just out of the blue. Oh, just, just a vindictive cat scratch. Well, she knew that she had done wrong. You know, it took her three days to get back in my lap. And we'd be sitting there, stroking her, thinking, warm. Delicate, you know. And I put my hands around her neck. And I squeezed. And I squeezed and I squeezed until her neck was the same thickness as a rope. And still I squeezed. So I thought I'd come talk to you. Here I am. Earlier this year in January, I had the pleasure of playing Amelia Watton in a Burr production of Amelia by Morgan Lloyd Malcolm. My character had to go through a very, through a very emotionally impacting and emotionally distressing scene, which was a miscarriage. My character had to go through losing her child on stage. Um, with the support of my cast at the time, it was, um, it was emotional, but also it was nice to have the support there to go through that every time we had to rehearse that scene. To do this was very challenging for me because uh, I have people in my life who are quite close to me and I know people that are friends with people that have gone through the same thing and many women do go through this and don't say anything about it because it is very um, traumatising going through that. To prepare for this role my director gave me about a month to prepare for the scene so in that time I researched as much as I could, I uh, looked at interviews and doing that scene was very emotionally draining every time and it was very challenging for me to do but it also changed me as an actor because I have more understandings, I have a more in-depth understanding about that issue and how many people don't realise how many people actually go through that. So, yeah.